Hey everyone, this is gonna be the only Bluehost tutorial you'll need to help you build a WordPress website today. Basically, I will walk you through the entire process of building a website from scratch. I'm choosing your hosting, getting your domain, setting up plugins and settings, choosing templates, building your website using Bluehost Wondersuite as well as Elementor. And yeah, by the end of the video, you'll know exactly how you can create a website for under $2 per month. See, I was able to get a special deal for you guys. And if you use the link down below in the description, you'll get that exclusive pricing that's only available to my audience. It's the best pricing you'll find anywhere online, so I definitely recommend taking advantage of that. Yeah, you clicked on this video because you are interested in using Bluehost to build your WordPress website, and I'll say Bluehost is a great choice. It's one of the official hosting recommendations made by WordPress themselves, and so yeah, you cannot go wrong. All right, so if you click on the link down below in the description, it's going to take you to this exact landing page. Here, you'll be able to get access to that $1.99 per month hosting, which is a huge, huge discount. And so what we're going to do is click Get Started Now. It's going to take you to this page with a bunch of different hosting plans that you can select from. Now, for most of you watching this video, I recommend just going with the basic or choice plus plan. The basic plan is $2 per month, while the choice plus plan is $4 per month. And you can see some of the differences are the number of websites you can make. So we can build 10 different websites with the basic plan compared to 50 with the choice plus plan. You get more storage with the choice plus plan, as well as the ability to have more visitors. Both come with AI site creation tools, which is fantastic, as well well as a free domain for the first year and you get free SSL, which is extremely important as well. So yeah, you can't go wrong with any of these. And for this video, I'll just go with the basic plan. So I'll select that. And now we're going to choose a name for our website. I'm just going to choose something like this and click search for domain. And it seems to be available, which is awesome. We're getting this .com domain for free. You also get the domain privacy and protection for free and professional email for free as well for three months. Now you'll see that you can select the duration for your hosting. It can either be monthly, one year or three years. If you choose monthly, you'll see that the price is extremely high per month. I definitely do not recommend getting this. It's actually cheaper for an entire year, as you'll see. Or you can select three years. That's going to lock in the pricing for longer. But for this video, I'll just go with the one year plan, which is going to be good for most of you watching this. So we'll click continue to check out. And now I'm going to enter in my contact information. So once you have all this information entered in, we'll go ahead and click submit payment. So once that's done, it's going to take you to your dashboard. It's going to look something like this. And what we're going to do is click on log into WordPress. Now, the really cool thing Thing about Bluehost is that any plan comes with the AI site creator. This is a great way to get the foundation rolling on your website. It's going to do a lot of the initial steps. And so for any beginner out there watching this, I do recommend just choosing this option. Yes, you have the option to do everything yourself. And I will take you through some of those steps in this video. But to make your life easier, I'm just going to select this and show you how to use it first. So it's going to ask us some details about what website we want to create. So here is their example. And it does say the more detail, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and write something here. Let's go with something like that and click next. I'm going to go ahead and include a logo and now click next. It's going to ask us how familiar we are with using WordPress. So for this video, I'll select beginner. And now it's going to generate three different versions of our website. At any time we can regenerate. So let's say I want to regenerate this one. And what we can do is basically click on this preview version. We can see it full size to see how it looks. And let's say I like how this one looks. I'm going to go ahead and click save and continue. And just know that we can change the theme at any point we want. We can choose a completely different theme. Theme, we can customize this theme and we can just incorporate our own design elements into whatever we choose. So now that that's done, what we can do is actually edit our site. So if I come here, click edit your site, and that's going to take me to the Bluehost site editor. Now, this is one way that you can edit and customize your website, but there's also other tools like Elementor that can help you build your website too. Right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to use this real quick. As you can see, it's very easy to use. Essentially, if there's anything you want to change, you can go ahead and select it. So for example, if I want to change this text, I can say something like Charlie Chang builds websites. We can change this text too. We can change the font. We can change this button right here. For any image you see on your website, you can click on the image itself. If we want to change the type, so for example, if we want to transform it into a gallery, we can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to leave this as a picture. And what we can do is replace it with either a picture that we upload, or we can select from the media library. And these are all pictures that you have uploaded yourself, either in the past or right now. For any particular block, we can also click on these three dots right here. And for example, if we want to remove 
remove this picture, we'll just click delete. And that's going to delete that block. If I click control Z or Apple Z, it's going to bring it back. Now let's say you want to add a block. So we'll come up here to this plus sign. We can choose from a bunch of different templates and things to add in. I recommend just going through these, getting familiar with them. For example, if you want to add a button, we can easily click on that and it's going to add it in. We can also click on wonder blocks right here. This is going to bring up a bunch of different patterns and templates that Bluehost has made for us. So for example, if you want a frequently asked questions section, this is one of the featured ones right here. Let's select this and that's going to insert it right here. We can always move where it is on our website by clicking move up or move down. And yeah, super, super simple. So I recommend just playing around with this. I'm going to click save for now. I will say you'll always want to make sure that your website looks great on either desktop or on mobile, since likely a good amount of your traffic will come from people on their phones. So if I click on this button right here, I switch to mobile view. I can then edit my website as if I were looking at it from a phone. So now I'm going to click on this button right here to go back to view our pages. And you can see these are the current pages that the AI builder has created for us. As you can see, I said I want a portfolio. So I did create a portfolio page. And for any of these, you can go ahead and delete it if you want. Click trash to edit it. You just need to click on edit. And yeah, it's very, very simple. So now I want to take you through some of the plugins that you guys should have for your WordPress website. If we click on plugins right here, you can see there are a bunch that have already been installed at any point you can delete them if you want so for example if i don't want this one i'll just click delete you can see we have yoast seo right here which we want to activate and then in terms of some other plugins that you should look into come here to add new plugin and here we can search for different plugins you can look at some of the most popular ones and guys wordpress is just amazing because of all these different plugins that you can add to your website you can add new functionality there is so much customizability and that's a huge reason why wordpress is so popular but yeah some plugins that i recommend getting for sure are Elementor that can help us customize our website, Frank Math, ACF Pro, there's WP Rocket, which helps you create a faster website. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get Elementor right now, just to show you. We'll go ahead and click install now, and now we'll click activate. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to settings and then go to permalinks. So you definitely wanna make sure that this is set on post name. Sometimes it can be different. This is gonna make your website navigation a lot more clear. If you want to change your theme, I'll show you how to do that right now. So if you come to appearance, go to themes. What you can see is that we're currently using the theme that we used for the AI site builder. Luckily with WordPress, there are tons and tons of other themes. So I'm just going to show you an alternative that you can use. If you go up here and click on wordpress.org themes, we'll be able to browse the hundreds of different themes that come with WordPress. Many of these are free. Now I recommend just going through these, see what works for the type of website that you want to build. But let's go ahead and say, I want to build a website that looks like this one. So I'll click on preview first, just to make sure it looks good. This is a very simple and clean template and I'll click install right here. So now that we've activated this new theme, you'll see that our old theme is now here. We can switch back to it by clicking activate. Now, if I go to Elementor, I'll show you how powerful this website builder is. Essentially, you don't need to know any coding. It's a drag and drop editor. And what we'll do is we'll click create a page. So yes, you can mix Elementor with the other types of page builders, but I recommend just going with one. With Elementor, we basically build with different containers. So containers are essentially different sections of our website. Website. At the top, we have our header, which contains our menu. And at the bottom, we have our footer. Essentially, all you need to do is click on this plus button right here, select what type of layout you want to use. So let's just use Flexbox. We'll go with this one right here. And now we can click the plus button and add any of these different widgets or elements into our website. So let's say I want to add an image. I'll go ahead and click that, drag it right there. We can edit this image by clicking here, choosing image, and we can upload files directly from our computer. Here's a photo I took at a wedding before. I'll have this selected, click select and that's going to put that image right here. Now we can change the image resolution and we can also add a caption or a link. We can continue to do this by just dragging different things. So we can create a heading right here. We can change the formatting of the text, the typography, color. And yeah, this is basically how you create a website basically from scratch with a template. With WordPress, we can also create new pages at any time. So if we come here to the pages tab and we click on add new page, that is another way in which we can create a brand new page. And we can edit this with either Elementor or with one blocks. So that's an overview of how WordPress works. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail in this video, but just know that I have other very detailed videos on this channel that show you how to build out all the different things in your WordPress website. Once you're done playing around with that, you can come back to the Bluehost dashboard. We'll come to websites right here. And what we'll want to do is make sure that our URL, our custom domain is connected. All this is updating right now, but you'll want to make sure that it's all set up. And all this can be done within the Bluehost dashboard. Now, although building the initial foundation for your WordPress website, 
website is extremely fast. There are tons and tons of things you can do to customize it and add functionality. So I encourage you to be patient, experiment with different things, play with all the different settings and builders, and sort of just learn along the way. The AI site creator is a great place to start to get that initial foundation, but likely there are gonna be things that you want to change or add, and you'll do all that within your WordPress dashboard. I'm really glad that you clicked on this video because it shows your intent for building your own website. Personally, I think that everyone should have multiple websites. I started building websites so long ago. I built dozens and dozens of websites, and they have helped me out so much with business and making money. It is crucial that you get started building your website as soon as possible. And yeah, if you haven't already, I just encourage you to follow along, get that $2 Bluehost plan today using my link, and just build the foundation of your website while watching my video. The hardest part is getting started, and you are well on your way. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Again, check out my other long WordPress tutorials if you want a more detailed step-by-step. -step. But I wanted to show you how to use Bluehost, their new AI site creation tools, as well as how you can further customize and add to your website. If you got any value from the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. On this channel, I do a ton of content about entrepreneurship, personal finance, and investing. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.